guys, Corey from the future here. I actually just got done shooting the video that you're about to watch. We rocked up to the spot this morning and for some reason it was mad cold, way colder than it was when we left Knoxville. So we couldn't really feel our hands, our eyes were watering and there was no way that I was gonna try and do an intro for you guys. So I just wanted to give you the quick intro right now. Um, today is like pretty chill. It was just kind of a sunrise mission, but it was actually pretty practical and I just wanted to bring you guys along. I had the Mamiya 7 and the Nikon F3 and I just simply needed to test these cameras and make sure they're working for something that I have coming up and so I thought why not bring you guys along for sunrise to uh, check it out and make sure these cameras work so yeah this is your intro from the future hope you guys enjoy the video comment if I'm using this right but be nice about it all right guys squat down a little bit for a minute there's a bird I'm gonna come closer like keep your body like that way then look at me this way I'm always interested about is the debate between um, a rangefinder or an SLR. Like this morning, uh, my eyes are watering because it's really cold and I'm not very good with an SLR as it is. And so this morning, I'm really glad that I do have a rangefinder option. So I've been wanting to ask you guys for a while now. So this freezing cold time, I thought was a good opportunity. Leave a comment down below if you prefer rangefinder or SLR. my hands and my eyes aren't watering now the best of the golden hour sunrise light is definitely long gone but hopefully we can still find some decent light so we're just gonna keep walking the trail down by the river here and see what we can come up with
not even metering anymore. It's too cold. I'm just freaking sending it. Where'd Evan go? Oh. <laughs> just said I'm not metering anymore, but I lied. Oh Lord. So when I'm shooting landscapes, uh, the number one thing that I'm looking for, no questions every time, is just light. So, you know, as much as I may love these leading lines or love a house in the distance, if there's no good light, it really doesn't matter. But, you know, that's not the only answer you can have, so it's always interesting to hear what other people are looking for when they're shooting a landscape. So, my friend Evan's here. Evan, what are you normally looking for when we shoot landscapes? Uh What's up guys, welcome back to the exact same spot where I did the intro because it's really cold, we're lazy and we're trying to get the Chick-fil-A, so this is what you're getting. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. We did have some pretty good light there for a minute uh, when the kind of optimal golden hour. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and you were able to see a little bit of what the Mamiya 7 and the Nikon F3 are capable of. Like I said in the intro, I just needed to test these out for something very important that I have coming up. And I just wanted to bring you guys along. So kind of maybe a shorter video or more of like a vlog style, but hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, you can subscribe or like. Oh, you looked at me there. I was saying enjoy it so much. Is that why you looked at me? As always, if you guys could like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. That really just encourages me and lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos that we're putting a lot of effort into. And as always, please do be sure to follow me on Instagram somewhere around here on the screen. And we'll see you guys for the next video. Turn it over. <laughs> is it still the pin is still in it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. <laughs>